at first. Mm -hmm. She said it was 129 students were missing. Is it a number that we're looking at the right now? The number is very, very important so that we know how many were looking. Just, just a moment. Is it a number that is the source of controversy or whether or not girls were indeed taken? The believability of the story starts with the number because the number of students that were missing must be ascertained by the principal. Now, when the principal said it was 219, who can pardon her? Again, when she came back to say it was 230 and two returned last night, this was in VOA interview. It was live, interview on VOA. Now, the, 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 the policeman, the DPO in Chibo, said something very you know, interesting. He said that his men engaged these people in five hours gun battle. Then the governor of Bronu State said that this man deserves an award. The following day, the same policeman said they have rescued 25, 25 of the Chibogas. Now, the Bronu State governor came and denied the story. Mr. Nene, can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you believe that girls were taken at all, whether they were five, whether they were 10, whether they were 100, whether they were 200? Do now, you believe now, that girls were taken we at were all? Told that, we were told that 57 escaped from Boko Haram. 57. No, Boko Haram used to adopt my, people. My, my question is very direct to you, sir. Do I believe? Yes. It's not about whether I believe. It's about whether the stories add up. You know, it's not a, it's, From it's, the stories that you've tabulated, do you think they add up to point to the fact that girls were taken? It doesn't sound believable. It doesn't sound believable. Would it have been believable if the girls had died? If they told us that the girls were dead, and they told us the number of girls that were dead... You would have believed. They would believe. If the girls were alive... And they told us the exact number of the students so that were is, missing. It is plausible. I mean, because this, this kid, the kidnap of the Chibok girls came shortly after boys in Buniyadi, Buniyadi yeah. were murdered. Yes, sir. And we saw them. We saw the bodies. We saw it happen in cold blood. I mean, we saw, we, we saw the bodies after they had been killed. Yeah. And, um, you know, we, we, we saw th that even the school, there were attempts to burn down a federal government secondary school for boys in Buniyadi in Yobe State. Yeah. And shortly after, we heard in Borno State that girls were kidnapped. And yet, for you, somehow, the story doesn't add up that it's possible that it's girls were indeed kidnapped. It's not about whether the girls were dead or not, or alive. What Nigerians want to know, what, Niger what the world want to know is, how many, these are students, the abduction did not take place in the society. It was an enclosed area. Do, and the do numbers you believe, are Can I ask you then, do you believe that, you know, the number of people, because we've seen that our military, they have been combing uh, some Bisa for us, they have, be, before they even started making the, uh, you know, before the uh, Chibok, complaints came up when they started making uh, discoveries no when they started you know taking on the, the the terrorists headlong we heard them freeing women and children who had been held in captivity do you think that those people were taken where those stories were also cooked up as well no the, we were too, the, the, we were too. the number of people that have been the thousands of people that have been freed by the military by the nigerian military who were in the captivity of boko haram now is we that were, also not possible no it's possible but what i'm saying is this we were told that boko haram used to abduct women and children so when our gallant military told Nigerians they freed up to 800 women it sounds believable because they didn't give us the exact number it was not in school. Now, if the Argalant military sacked the whole of Sambisa Forest, where these guys were believed would to you, be... Would you not hear that the Gallant military sacked the no, whole, but they, but, but, but the they whole organized of shooting, Sambi, the but, Sambi, but, but they the organized Sambisa a shooting for... match, a friendly match in Sambisa. What does that presuppose? They did not say that that was the entire you know, length and breadth of Sambisa what the, what, Forest. What's the entire length and breadth Mr. of Sambisa Forest? Mr. Anene, can I just ask you, if you say that the military have been freeing people and they free thousands of people, not, and just, none of the not just 800 women yeah. or not just 800 girls, is it possible that a group which is capable of taking over 4,000 people, 5,000 people, taking over thousands, many thousands of people, is not capable of kidnapping no, Maybe. we're not. We're not doubting the capacity. Girls, no, we're not doubting the. Girls no, we're not. I'm not doubting the capacity. I'm not doubting the capacity of the terrorists of Boko Haram to abduct the number of students. What precisely are you doubting then? The, 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 what I'm doubting, or what Nigerians are doubting, is the stories. The stories doesn't sound believable. The stories doesn't. So, the, what do you think is telling the lie? That's what is the no, question. I'm is. giving you. I'm giving you. Who said what? So who is telling the lies? I think no, you, know, you, you, you have no. to be very, you know, plain. Let people understand what precisely it is you're trying to say. It's, it's, it's about telling the stories that 
didn't add up. If things are not believable, it means that someone, so, someone somewhere is lying. No, it may not necessarily be lying. It may be that the story is not coherent. It may be that the story is not coherent. So whose story is not coherent? The stories that are not coherent is this. The principal story is not coherent. Mm -hmm. The commission of education story is not coherent. Now, the, 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 the commission of police story is not coherent. Even the DPO story is not coherent. So he took, if, if were to be, because the normal Nigerians are working with, is the committee set so up by Jonathan. So let us even say that, you know, all of these stories are not coherent. So at the end of the day, does it point to the fact that girls were taken, but the numbers were not what they say they were? What precisely is the no, bottom line of no, your story? We were told that 57 escaped and they returned. We were not sure those 57. We didn't interview them. We were told that 57 escaped from Boko Haram. You know Boko Haram? Very deadly, Mr. very Anine, vicious. You're not answering my question. No, I'm, I'm answering the question to the best of my ability. I'm, I'm, I'm simply asking you, these stories that are not coherent, what do they point to? No, it, does it point to whether or not girls were taken? You're it, not, you've, not, you've not been able to say yes, they were taken. No, they weren't taken. No, it, yes. it is pointing to the fact that the story is not believable. Which means what? Uh, which means it's not believable. It's very simple. Oh, well, I don't know. You know, I've already asked, you know, whether or not somebody is lying. You say it might not be that they're lying. It's, it, it could be that the story is just not coherent. Whose story is not believable? No, but I've told you the, the, who said what. I've repeated myself. So if the stories of those people are not believable, is the story of the girls, I mean, of the of the parents of the girls. Is it believable? Because we have seen the parents of the girls also grant interviews to say, our daughters are missing. Now, you, you, is, you, is their story believable for you? Now, in, two, in, in 14th of May 2014, when I appeared on this medium, you asked me the question, the same question. There was a video clip you played. One of the girls said, they came with two trucks, one big one and one short one. Now, Mr. Nene, my question is very direct. No, I'm coming to your question. I'm asking you very Concisely, is this the story of the Chibok parents? Is it believable for no, I'm you or not? About the interview I'm not I'm talking about the interview of the girls, I'm talking about the interview of the parents. Was it believable or not? How many of the parents have you interviewed? And who said what? How many, however many of the parents that have been interviewed, no, we should do you believe the story of the parents? If somebody says his child is missing. Nobody has a good reason to doubt the person. But if somebody told us that 276 children were abducted with two, two buses, it, it doesn't sound believable. Well, that's definitely a fine place to leave it. We've been speaking with Mr. Emmanuel Anene, who is a legal practitioner. And um, he says that the Chibok girl's story and the return doesn't add up. That's why we'll have to leave it at this point. Sunrise Daily will continue in just a moment. Just stay with us.